My name is Lyle Campbell. I'm a Hyder Carver. Today we're talking about a memorial pole that I carved for my mother, Alice Campbell. I haven't carved a memorial pole, but others have on, on Haida Gwaii back home. And uh, so I didn't know a whole lot about memorial poles. So it was a huge learning curve for me the whole time. One fella stayed from the beginning to the end, and uh, he told me that you know he was going to in the beginning, and uh, his name is Eric Gray, Simshan Carver. So I mean, um, uh, his commitment to the project inspired me to, to, to work harder, to try harder every day, and uh, you know, like he was uh, a great, great help. We literally had about uh, four months of working time on it. We worked 12 hours a day, seven days a week, and sometimes 13, 14 hours a day. The pole is no entitlement or ownership over land of any sort. It's simply stated that a Haida woman from the Edenshaw people, uh, Eagle Clan woman, lived in this house and this was her memorial. She's been gone now for about just over six years. She was a very uh, modest, uh, generous and kind woman, a Haida woman. She was one of those people that would just kind of open up the home feed people and uh, invite them, although she wouldn't know them, invite them to to uh, things like Christmas dinner and stuff like that. So she was just a very special woman who, who exhibited very uh, honorable qualities. Because she was always sitting in one spot knitting, um, we'd have a hummingbird feeder in the back where she could see it and just would love watching them come to the feeder all day long. And I think she did that because it reminded her of her mom. So, uh, you know, it was almost like she was sending her mom when the hummingbirds were present. So um, I was going to put a hummingbird on top and then um, <clears throat> uh, one of my family members uh, had contacted me from Massad and, and said, uh, suggested maybe that I don't do that because um, the hummingbird actually specifically is a crest belonging to another tribe of Haida people. So we replaced that hummingbird on top with another eagle. That's how we ended up with two eagles on the same pole. Generally, pole raising ceremonies can bring crowds in the thousands. Uh, they're very big events and they're very exciting. And it's really the culture um, at the forefront. Carver's responsibility ends when he does the Carver's dance around the pole and then from that moment on he's not supposed to touch the pole anymore. It, it now belongs to the people, it's not his anymore. So anyways, uh, as we were raising the pole on that day, the sun came out behind the pole and shone on it and I just knew at that very moment that everything had a special blessing upon it and that the Creator had put his hand on that day. I realized that pole carving is a labor of love, and um, love had to go into it. If I wasn't born a Haida carver, then I wouldn't have this rich ancestry. I wouldn't have this tradition that I could look back and, you know, look at the poles of the past and, and uh, 
you know, do what I love to do, right? It, it comes from that place, it's in our blood. So, um, I believe the ancestors are a part of us, they're not something that I pray to. Um, I can talk to them, but their blood flows through my veins, so they are a part of us. <laughs>